Hello? 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 Guess push the button. Ah, the button! Ow, button! Hi. Hi, everyone. It's me, Siegfried. I'm so tired. Today was a long, arduous, hot, humid day where part of New Jersey got slammed with rain and got to enjoy the time. And the rest of us got humid and awful. Oh, I was part of humid and awful. Um, so because of how the temperature spiked up here, I didn't want to start the computer and do all that stuff and possibly overheat the computer. So I hope you understand. I'm working on a way to better cool the system so that way we don't have to deal with overheating issues. But we dealt with this last summer where like I, I kept things to a calm minimum so that way I didn't overdo the system. But before we do anything else, let me say thank you to some pretty amazing furry people. First and foremost, it's too late now. Labby for Bunkers Law and X Cramble. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you guys so much for the host. It's really appreciated. If you hear I have fireworks going off right now because they're they're super, super excited about uh Wow. Okay, we're gonna me. We gotta ban this. Uh, boop. Boop. Okay. Uh, yeah, one of the people who retweeted my tweet um, is a boosting service, and I am not about to have that shit. Oh, hell no. Alright, so big, big thank you to the I'm Live guys. Thank you so much for the retweet. This is for all you guys this evening. Shouty, you the best. You the, you the best. Alright. Alright, cool. Um, Alright, so if you were not here and you haven't been keeping up, first and foremost, all of this is in the VODs down below. And also, it's all being uploaded to a separate directory on YouTube. So make sure you check the whole thing out. If you haven't seen Stormblood in a while or you want to see Stormblood for the first time in a while, we're literally doing Stem the Stern from ep uh, Quest 1 all the way out. Uh, because I'm a whole expansion behind. So I hope you understand. Uh, if not, it's you get to watch me see things that you have no, maybe you know about, and you're gonna be like, "Man, I can't wait to see what he thinks when so and so does such and such." We'll see. Uh, also, so the story as it sits, uh, the the resistance has suffered a catastrophic loss. The team itself also suffered many injuries, including the Warrior of Light was finally put down. Someone beat him into the ground. Uh, we uh, have pled with the resistance to hold strong as we try to find allies in a new area. So with that, we headed out east, fought some sea bitch, which something like that, and then freed ourselves and we have just arrived at the shores of the east where we are now going to be starting our new journey now out in the east where the samurais and ninjas are who also have dealt with the Empire taking over and doing evil things. So there you go. Yeah, that is your update. And let's get into this stuff. Uh, where is the game? So I can unmute it. Unmute it. Where is it? There it is. Oh, all right. Mighty porn. Mighty porn. Also, if you have any intentions of making a character on North America right now, any, any intentions of making a character on North America is just not happening. Uh, watch this. I have never seen this in all the years that I've been doing this. All the years, all the years I've been doing this. I have never seen an entire server group have no character creation options. You can create characters in Japan. You can create characters in Europe, just not in North America. So if you are from North America, you just I have no clue. <laughs> That's just... 
That's crazy sauce right there. I've, I've never, in like, in all my years of, of playing this game, I've never seen that. All right. And, of course, there's 30 people playing. Gotta love expansions, boys and girls. Gotta love expansions because everyone comes back. I'm even one of them. I mean, then again, I, I've been playing 14 on and off. I just haven't been, like, hardcore. That's why, I like, we played through a little bit of Heaven's Ward. And then I realized we were in the middle of the Heaven's Ward storyline. So I figured most people weren't going to want to, like, watch the middle part. Because, like, it's like, wait, who's this guy? What's going on with this? At least this is, like, new stuff. So, like, everyone can learn about it together. All right, here we go. Oh God, all the windows. Hi, Alpha Nud. All right, so we gotta get into voice, voice acting mode. We have our full 40 ounce bottle of water ready for me to destroy my voice. For you guys. That's right. Can't wait till the first old man when I have to throw the gravelly voice. That is what really messes me up. All right. Please be voice acted. Please be voice acted. Damn it. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah. Uh, glad though I have arrived. I would remind you all that we are far from home with limited resources at our disposal. Duly noted, brother. I shall take care to en not enjoy myself. In any event, Dormo is our final destination, and our first order of business should be to secure the passage there. Captain Calvin, I realize you pledged only to take us as far as Coogan, and I have no desire to change our terms of agreement. I should, however, be interested to know if you you would know uh, how you would go about reaching Althord. Where are your uh, were you in our positions? Hmm. I do risk of stating the obvious. You're in a port. Surely there's a kind and generous soul here who'd be willing to aid you for the right price. You can't be the first traveler seeking passage to Dorma. Hmm. The captain makes a good point. Tis like the Yurgirl and Gasai were forced to come here for the Falseam. Reasons were we were. They must have found ways to Onthor, assuming they're not, uh, they're not still in the city. Hmm. Ere we, ere we seek passage, mayhap we should first seek our friends. Leave it to me, Alphanad. Making friendly inquiries is my specialty. I should forget, I got plenty of practice in this guard. Captain Calvin, could you direct us to the nearest tavern? I wish to drink my ass off, dance on a f***ing table, and show my little Toronto goodness! Sorry, wait, what? <laughs> uh, desperate for a drink, are we? Uh, you must find the one of the large buildings just beyond the pier. Whether your journey have come to an end or about to begin, the Shuzugiro Hostery is an ideal place to rest, relax, and reflex. Or so they say. And with that, my dear Scions, I bid you farewell. As soon as we have replenished our supplies, we must away. Ours was an everlasting, moving, fast business. The spice trade, you mean? But of course! Surely you don't think I traveled halfway around the world and delivered you to the destination solely out of the kindness of my heart. Perish the thought. Thank you, Captain. You. Uh, thank you, Captain. And may the navigator watch over and keep you. Whatever. <laughs> Right then, to the holstery. After you.
first gravelly throat did its job. Is that a fish? By the twelfth? I thought Ishgard remarkable, but this... We are certainly not in Eorzea anymore. No, you're not, Alphanod. <laughs> a tavern is a tavern, Alphano, here or anywhere else. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time to do what I do best. Oh, a thousand pardons, my lady. All right. The signs of the seventh dawn, I presume. I hope your voyage was not too trying. And you are... Ah, yes, of course. Forgive me. <laughs> Hancock of the East Aldenard Trading Company, at your service. On behalf of Chairman Lollarito, I bid you welcome to Kugani, and invite you to take refreshments at our local offices. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. Lolo Rito. Was the head of the Merchants Guild of Olda who basically almost got the Scions killed. Attempted to execute Ruban and almost killed the leader of Olda. And we're in his backyard. This is fun. Fun. We'll go with that. Fun. Lollarito. I was aware his interests extended beyond the borders of Eorzea, but not so far as Kagane. Regardless, I am disinclined to accept the hospitality of grinning merchants, especially those who serve a master with whom we have such a difficult relationship. My, such naked suspicion. He tried to kill all of us, and the leader and the commander of Olda. And you're acting shocked? I do hope that business with the Crystal Braves did not rob you of all faith in your fellow man. Or do you really think the chairman is plotting to drag you into another one of his grand schemes? I beg your pardon. If you are trying to win my trust, you are failing quite spectacularly. Oh dear, have I offended you? Can I just kill him? Ca cast Venstone. <laughs> Once again, I must apologize. Too much time in the Far East, you see. One is compelled to talk in circles round everything here, and one finds oneself longing for the invigoratingly candid speech of the Uldan markets. Though I see now that this was neither the time nor the place to indulge said longing. Might I suggest that we continue this conversation at the company offices? Too many eyes and ears here, you understand. It would be decidedly reckless to say any more. If I may favor you with the invigorating candy you apparently crave, it would be decidedly reckless to follow a man I neither know nor trust. Give me one good reason why we should accept Lord Lodorito's invitation. Now there's the young diplomat I was told to expect. Very well then. I shall explain. You understand that you are come to a most reclusive and secretive nation, yes? One whose borders are close to foreign trade, save at this single port. Then it should come as no surprise that a great many parties have vested Where are you interests going to Taro? here. Merchants like myself are a given, of course, but for every one of us, you may be certain there is also an agent of a foreign government. Many notable nations and empires have embassies here, you know, including, of course, the Garlean Empire, with whom you have such a difficult relationship. 
Oh my god. To paraphrase, Kugani is teaming with Imperial spies, one or several of whom could now be listening to our every word. Something to that effect, yes. Beneath this veneer of bustling trade, a war for supremacy is being waged between world powers. One might say we were standing on the front lines, just not in public. I still have my doubts, but he may have a point. I say we accept his invitation for now. Great. Great. Is there a crystal in this town? Oh, there's a crystal over here. That's pretty. Attuning to Aethernet. Okay, got that. Uh, there's a chocobo thing over here, so we gotta talk to him. Oh, it's a falcon porter. Okay, cool. Berry Skipper? What do you do? Oh, you give me back to Linson Lominsa for 300 gold. It's not bad. Okay. Let's go get the crystal. like I can go this way go up and around and grab these then teleport back here and then go back around and grab those and then I'll have all the the nets and then I'll just be able to like bounce around I'm I'm all about like fast travel shit if I can I'll spend the three seconds to make sure I can just like bounce around as I need to I feel I feel it's really worth it. Cause I know I know with most of these fetch questions it's gonna just send you back to an area again and again and again and again. And so if like you just pre-attune everything, then you only have one time you have to run around and get everything done. up there. Let's go up here. Alright, so now we go back to the, the Azure Plaza. Because that's the middle ground. And then we run this way and go around. And then when we have this last one, we should be able to... Ooh. Oh, you got all the way up. Holy shit. So basically when I get this last one, and I should be good at that point. Do I have the Corgan Dory markets? No, I do not. My FPS looks like it's struggling. It's holding. It's holding at 30-ish. I know it's on the top end, though. 
It definitely has been having its moments. I just don't know where to... I guess we can kill that. Kill this. Kill that, that. Kill that. Minimize that. I'm trying to kill everything I can kill right now, just in case. Free up as much resources as I can. I might just have to uh, reset the encoder to uh, to go on uh, CPU. Because it just might be that the video card is just having its moments. Is that a little bit better now? I hope. Uh, I'm sure it's fine. I really haven't seen much. I don't know if it's normal or not. It just looked a little weird. It, it's possible. Like I said, I, I noticed yesterday I was having moments where we dropped to like 29, 28, 27. So it is, it's, it's quite possible it dropped for that brief moment. I just didn't notice it then. The other thing I'm trying is because of the issue with the optimum is I'm extra encoding now. So that way if we have a DC because of optimum, um, I have drop off protection now. So I know that's also taking its own toll. All right, so that should be everything now, right? All right, so we're attuned to everything now. Let's repair all the things. Okay, cool. All right, now we can continue on the quest. Where is it? All right, quest is over here. But no, it's possible. It really is. What I just might have to do is just like... Because right now this is set for... It should be set to encode through the video card. Yeah, right now it's set to encode through the video card. So my, it, it honestly just might be better to just switch it back to the CPU. On to Hancock. Hancock! <sighs> you must be sick for talent. Slayer of gods, rider of dragons, savior of Ishgard, stealer of pants. You don't know me! If so, the more puzzling rumors. You know what's funny about that? Siegfried and Deserath are one. <laughs> oh, God. I knew it. May I say what an honor it is and pleasure. It's one of the rumors that he's heard, which is I am the stealer of pants. I know, right? I knew it. May I say, what an honor and a pleasure it is to make your acquaintance, good sir. I just know you and I are going to get along famously. Now then, without further ado, allow me to escort you to the company's offices. This being your first visit to the fair city, I shall make every effort to point out various landmarks along the way. It would be so good to follow me. Okay. Uh, 
Wait, what? <laughs> Sig Sigfried and Deserath are one. I really wish there was a quest where I had to steal someone's pants. Hold on. Wait, there was a quest back in the day. Hold on. Yeah, there was a there was a side quest in version 1.0 where you could you had to steal a guardsman pants in order to infiltrate. <laughs> Everyone, if I could have your attention, please. You are now standing in Tenkotino. I feel like I'm playing Shadowrun right now. Loosely translated, the name means Spire of the Drifting Souls, which, as some of you may have deduced, makes reference to the Aetherite which stands over yonder. Hmm, the design is markedly different than those of Seralia, yet I trust it functions identically. A diplomat and a scholar. Will wonders never cease? Far Eastern Aetherite technology has long and stored tradition. I assure you, this particular example was constructed by the Onishishu, on <laughs> a collective of skilled craftsmen who guarded their ancestral, ancestral techniques with the utmost secrecy. In short, you will find no less reliable than its western counterparts, a tune if you like. I already did. Na na na. Oh boy, rings. What I always wanted. Oh, beautiful though it may be, we cannot spend all day staring at the Aetherite. Come, come, let's get al move along. The markets are next. Do do do. Okay. Damn it! There's no fast travel to where his quests are. He's ruining everything. I guess there... Wait, there is! I just didn't see it because of the quest. You punk. We have arrived in the largest shopping district in Kugai. The Kugin Dorai. No. Dori. Sorry. Dorai. Dorai. Kugin, as you are doubtless unaware, is an ancient Higgin word for gold. So in this prosperous port, where golden fortunes are made, lesser fortunes, or kugin, are earned by the local merchants. It's all quite logical once you learn the language. Hee 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 Now we begin to speak my language! Wait, what? <laughs> oh, a kindred spirit. What well, a pleasure it is to meet a young lady who appreciates the value of hard-won coin. Yay! Hancock of the Eastern Albion Trading Company. You are with clients today? Why, if it isn't Master Keaton, 
Pray allow me to introduce you to my esteemed guest, who recently come from distant Eorzea. This kind and generous soul supervise all transactions here in the Kugendorai. Or sincere is you your sincere your sincerity is ever appreciated, as he says. I am Keaton of Hakichichu clan, and it is my honor to serve as overseer of these markets. As we receive many foreign visitors of Kugan, we accept all manners of currencies. Rest assured, your Eorzean guild are welcomed here. I invite you to peruse our wares at your leisure. I like how no one else bows. She's like, whatever, cool, thanks. Arms, armor, foodstuffs, potables. Here you will find them all and more. Okay, can I just teleport to the next one? Oh, where's that? Where's that? Uh, it's literally just the other side of the market. You bastard! You're ruining everything! How dare you actually give me a, to a, t a, a freaking tour of the city? If we may pause here for a moment. This road leads to Inju Gao, the district in which Injun, or foreigners, are permitted to reside. Would this also be a foreign embassy as are found, including that of the certain empire? Precisely. So you see, it would be all unusual to cross paths with one of your guardian cousins here. With this in mind, I would encourage you to choose your words carefully. We would not want any physical altercations after all, such spats being strictly forbidden. The Sesgumi punish breaches of the peace quite severely. I have seen foreigners permanently exiled for a single violation, though, to be fair, this is not common. More often than not, they are executed on the spot. What? Cut down? And there and then? You're joking, right? Would that I were. But alas, the samurai are humorless lot. Why, I recall once instance when a foreign merchant in the cups dared lay hands on a Higgin astrocate aristocrat in front of the Shizkuzgumi. The samurai cut him in half with a single stroke. Ugh, I don't even want to think about that. So as you see, it would behoove you to behave. Failing that, we must be forced to part ways with one another, or you with yourselves. In the matter of late, Tajad Halulul. Oh, I amuse myself, but we must carry on. I have yet to show you the Garlean Consulate. I, I'm with you. I have no clue what the hell that was all about. This, as you may have uh, surmised, is the console of, of you know who. All right, night night, sleep well, sweet dreams, and remember. Shouty, you the best. You the you the best. Yeah, girl. Uh, mark the guards at the gate. Are the uniforms not different from those you have seen in the West? Were you to travel far and wide, you'd find that many such variations exist often inspired by local designs, all of which goes to show that even a massive empire seeking to rule all creation is not without its artisans. Uh, yeah, we'll just grab that.
There is oh so much more I could speak of. The soothing waters of the, of the Ansai, the imperial delights of the Pleasure District, but you are doubtless still weary from your long sea voyage. Let us retire to the company offices. you that's close enough savage I swear to god i will kill you i will kill you all right into here At long last, we arrived at our destination. May I present you the humble offices? We have much to discuss, so I will retain for uh, from further prattle. Come, come, right this way. Is it bad that I just want to kill uh, Lola Rito? I just want to—I I, want to just kill him, I, even though it'll probably lead to my death and the end of the game. I want to just kill him after what he did. Of course, he has a statue of himself. took great pains to ward these walls against all manner of surveillance. Where business dealings are concerned, we do not compromise on confidentiality. You may avail yourselves of these offices for the duration of your visit. Come and go as you like, and know that you may speak freely here. Uh huh. Your offer is most generous, but I will not enter into any agreement which would leave us beholden to you or your master. A legitimate concern? Allow me to clarify then. The chairman bids you consider this as an expression of his heartfelt contrition for the bloody banquet and the unpleasantness which followed. Oh god. The bloody banquet is, is basically when Ruban lost his arm and a bunch of people died. Never having been one to put stock in words alone, the chairman deems the provision of material aid to be a more appropriate demonstration of his sincerity. By sheer coincidence, your purpose here also happens to coincide with our own interests. That is, assuming you are come to aid the Doman Liberation Front. How does he know this already? How could... I will not bother to offer a denial. I, you have the right of it. To be specific, we are come in search of our Far Eastern allies, Yugiri and Gosetsu, whom we hope to assist in their fight. The Aori Shinobi and the Rugadin Samurai? Then you will be pleased to know that they have both come to Kugani. Are you sure? Quite. They came here aboard a company vessel, you see. However, they encountered difficulties securing passage across the Ruby Sea. The Ruby Sea? Sorry, I've never been any good at geography. Forgive me. This calls for a map. We are here in Kugani, the sole open port of Hingashi, situated on her western coast. Doma, meanwhile, is here on the eastern coast of Othard in Yansha. Therefore, if your friends are to reach Doma, they must first cross the Ruby Sea. Alas, this is easier said than done, as the Ruby Sea does not fall within the dominion of either Hingashi or Doma, being controlled since antiquity by a third party, namely, the Confederacy. What? Said maritime collective is known for the consummate skill of its sailors, 
and for demanding that any vessel entering its waters pay a toll referred to as the Ruby Tithe. In exchange, the Confederacy's vast fleet guarantees the safety of those who travel within its territory. Now, as I'm sure you are aware, Garlemald conquered Doma some 25 years past, at which time the Empire saw no value in controlling the Ruby Sea, and thus did they turn a blind eye to the activities of the Confederacy. The recently appointed acting Imperial Viceroy of Doma had other ideas, however. She has formally condemned the Confederacy and declared that any who recognize their authority shall be branded enemies of the Empire. Oh my god. <laughs> Bowing to this pressure, Hingashi severed ties with these toll takers and forbade the payment of the Ruby Tithe, prompting the Confederacy to make it known that any merchants choosing to sail the Ruby Sea would do so at their peril. Wow. That's that's messed up. No wonder they struggled to secure passage to Doma. What captain would risk such a journey given the circumstances? I am told your friends were not so easily deterred from their course, but I know not whether their persistence bore fruit. I say we follow in Yugiri and Gosetsu's footsteps and attempt to secure passage to Doma for ourselves. We will need to cross the sea in any case, and we may learn something of their whereabouts in the process. Oh god, there's going to be a fight. If we find that they are still in Kagane, we can make the journey together. In that case, I have some information which may be of use to you. No quid pro quo, I assure you. The chairman was most insistent that I aid you to the best of my ability. Oh god. <sighs> Though I'm reluctant to take action whatsoever, they could be construed as placing ourselves in Lord Lorito's debt. We must avail ourselves of what means are available. Our Alamega allies place their faith in us and do not intend to disappoint them. Nope, not better than that one. Alright, more... More materia. Look at all this materia I have. I don't get to do with it. Got some tiger skin too, huh? Oh god. Oh god, the last time they gave me a box like this, it had the whole uniform in it. It would seem inefficient for us to venture out together in search of information on Yurgi and Gri's whereabouts. Agreed? Agreed. We need to cast our net wider, split up and pursue all available avenues and inquiries. But if we're to coordinate our efforts effectively, we'll need to establish a working base of operations here. Indeed. Totoro, you would seem best suited for this task of so organizing our supplies and procuring new ones. Yay! While she attends to that, we four can bring our research questions to the individuals Hancock identified. Alice Hale, I will take the Alice Hale and I will take those of the southern district of the north of the city, and the two of you can take those of the north. I uh, anticipate that it's just an eventuality. I took the liberty of preparing uh, some new sketches of Yurigur and Kase during the voyage. Wow, it's still. Wow, it's still totally warned me that you were a bit of an artist, but these are great. They definitely come in handy. These are actually the. Uh, if I remember right, these are the actual like artistic renditions of the characters that you get from the art book. Looks like it's you and me, Siegfried. 
let's step out and talk about where we're to start. Approving nod. Booty. Love booty. Wow, Alpha Nod's sketches are so... I don't know how to put it, but they're very... Well, see for yourself. You gonna put it up on the screen again? You may view Alpha Nut's sketch at any time during the quest by using the relevant item in the key item menu. Okay. All right, I, I looked at him. There's a small orange area. Hey. This is like the smallest orange area ever. Like literally. You alpha not sketch with lease. I I already I, I did. Oh, I got I got wait hold on I gotta actually do it with you. Okay, let, me, let me get real close to you, girl. Mm, I hear you like drawings. Want to see this drawing you just handed me? Ooh yeah. It looks like that. Uh, it looks more like them than than they do. Honestly, he could make a living doing this. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. No time for distractions. Why don't we start by visiting Kakari at the on something on 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 san on san on scene? That was it. <laughs> Yo, I'm with you, Lise. I'm 100% with you on this one. All right, so you are up by the Borker in one. See, this is where it starts paying off. Because then I don't have to run all the way over there. And like, bam, here. Damn right I got here faster than you. Hmm. You seek Ara and Regatta, do you? A thousand apologies, but I cannot help you. It is against our policy to divulge information regarding patrons past or present. Please, we came all this way from Aorza to find our friends. We have our reputation to consider, miss. Men and women from all walks of life come here to search for rejuvenation, body and soul. They seek privacy and discretion, and we have our honored their wishes. Only the Suskazgumi may demand otherwise. I am sorry, but there is naught I can do. I suppose we'll just have to ask someone else then. What about the woman who runs the holstery? Kukukazi, was it? Kokokokokokokazi. All right. So where are we going next? All right. So we can just teleport to the holstery. Ooh. 
makes life so much easier. Welcome, traveler. I can assist you in some rice wine. Exceptional quality, delivered by the other day. Have you seen these people? Uh, rice wine? <laughs> ah, and now Nori Sunobi and Raganda Samurai. If I may, I would answer your question with some few of my own. If I speak, of, if I speak, that which you which you know, Injun, be not offended. You are familiar with the situation in the lands across the Ruby Sea, the Doom Rebellion after two and a half decades of quiet. I see. Are you familiar with the ways of Hingashi? How we elect and stand apart, and support no cause but our own, indifferent and callous. Some may call us, but pragmatists and essentially if the humble island nation such as ours is to survive but we are not fools complete isolation is impractical and so kugan is open to injun and we are equally hospital to all or if i must speak more plainly yes i can help you but if i do i must oblige the ones who ask after you are you willing to accept this fair and equitable treatment so basically, she'll answer our questions as long as we're willing to accept that she can answer questions about us later. If anyone comes looking for us, tell them whatever you like. As you wish. The two individuals from whom you speak did indeed come here. They sought passage across the Ruby Sea. Few ships are willing to make the trip at this moment. Nevertheless, I made several introductions on their behalf that was the extent of our interactions. I'll provide you with the names of the captains if you like. Sheet of paper out of nowhere. You've been such a great help, Mr. Kutku Kuzi. I'll be sure to come back for that wine sometime. We would welcome your customs, Mist. We should question these captains as soon as we can. You take the first three, I'll take the rest. We'll meet here when we're finished. All right, good luck. All right, so. There's no shortcut down there. It's literally just this giant thing down here. All right, how do I get to it? It's like there's a door here, but not really. It's like, it's like the map shows there's a door there, but there's not actually a door there. Alright, so there's the, there's a bridge. Wait, is there an upstairs? Is that what it is? Is there an upstairs? Is that why it looks like there's a, there's a, a ramp? Because there's an upstairs that crosses. Hatsagi! Can I go this way? Hey! Did someone say Hatsagi? Hatsagi! I need to get the hell down downstairs. Can I get downstairs? All right, we're downstairs now. <laughs> I need to get downstairs. Jumps over edge. <laughs> you know, that's how you know shit's serious right there, is when you're willing to just jump off of a building. Ah, oh, you asked me if I'd seen the Aurora women and the or die samurai? Mm -hmm. The woman is unknown to me, but the man is not. He was from Dorma, but I could not help him. We travel slowly between here and Radez Han. It would be unreasonable detour. 
Okay. Good to know. Next. Crit Captain. What? No. Yes, the Diary General did approach me. He wanted to charter a ship to take him across the Ruby Sea. The Mad Devil. I sent him away, like all others before him. The woman? Nah. I know her not. Alright, nothing out there. Maybe the last captain's up on the dock thing? I mean, I did just jump off of a bridge. With the advent of airships, why would you ever... Like, why would they ever need to use the sea then? Because, like, you would think, worst case scenario, you just hire an airship and it's just like, alright, well, I'm not at sea. last person in here maybe no we're out of the orange circle now This is a new quest. That doesn't help me. You hear me? Nope. We're stuck in a boat. We're stuck in a boat. Let me out. There we go. This is out. Um. Hmm. There's one. There's two. I must be missing something. We went all the way up. We went all the way out here. I mean, unless it's on that other pier, but it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like the orange hits that pier. Find these other three captains. Hardest quest in the game right now. If you didn't know, these these are the hardest quests. When they give you a giant orange circle and say find someone in it. Alright. Not 
not you guys. And we're not in the orange anyway. We know it's not you. Where the hell is this last person? We know it's not, it's not in there. Not here, not there. Maybe? Hey! The place that actually has a boat left. Passengers, no. We no longer offer that service. Too much trouble. Now we only transport goods. I told this to Samurai and sent him on his way. The woman? Bah. If that woman you seek, the pleasure house have plenty. That's naughty. Truly naughty. Let me, yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, all right, so then we need to go to the holstery. <laughs> it's all about finding the shortcuts. It makes it, it makes it more bearable then. What's up, Lise? How did it? Oh, never mind. Judging from the look on your face, you didn't have much better luck than I did. I get the cape, the sketch? Oh, wall mount the sketch. Let's just throw that there. Yeah, there you go. Hey! Still getting shitty gear. Well, I suppose we might as well head back to... Wait, I just remembered. There was someone on my list I forgot to visit. Giotto. He's a... Now he's a fisherman. Whatever that means. And a regular here. Maybe we'll find him here. And then we could drink with him. And get drunk. Atsagi! Hey, what do you know? It's an actual fish with a smiling face. Wait, wait, what, what? Why do you stare? You have business with me? By, by the twelve, a talking fish. Yes, yes, a talking fish. How very observant of you. You find me in good spirits, so your rudeness and I will ignore this once, but only if you address me again with the proper manner. Sorry, I've nev never met... Ah, let's start again. You're Giando, right? My name is Lise, and this is Siegfried. We're looking for some friends of ours. I see, I see. Both these ones I know well. I helped them secure passage across the Ruby Sea. Really? That's wonderful. Could you do the same for us? Yes, yes. This would be not a problem for you. I could charter a ship this very day. But the journey is fraught with much peril. The fare will not be cheap. Are you sure you can afford to pay? I have a million gil. Is that enough? 
I don't. I, I didn't think to bring my money, but surely Totoro will let us take whatever we need from the Scion's coffers, right? We wouldn't be the only passengers, though. Could we take a moment to talk it over with our friends? Yes, yes, but hurry. Your ship must depart under the cover of darkness. We shall meet again at sunset at the Tashir Bridge. Do not forget your fare. Bring many gills. Yes! It's about time the charge. Uh, it's about time our luck changed. Alpha and the others will be thrilled. First girl, you're not supposed to talk about our large coffers we can draw from, because all that's going to lead to is the person going. You said you had money. Seven trillion billion gold. But we don't have seven trillion billion gold. You, you said you had large coffers. Well, the price is seven billion trillion gold. Ethernet. Uh, I forget where it was at. Ruby Bazaar. Nose. We spoke with a number of merchants and captains of the Southern Piers. Several recognized Gotsu and confirmed that he had been searching for a vessel to deliver him to Anthor. None, however, made any attention of the Lady Yurigiri. Yes, it was the same story for us, and then you'll never believe what happened. We met a talking fish, and I offended it. And then it ended with me telling him about Tertaro has a shitload of gold and she's gonna let us use it. So this Gaido claims to have aided the Gosho and Yuri girl. How fortunate. Not, not the word I would have chosen, Master Aphanad. Stupid's what I call it. How can you agree to his price without making any attempt to haggle? Or even confirming that it was in the first place. Yes, that too was a misstep on their part, but it is not what troubles me the most. Gaido, his brethren, are not a renowned for their generosity of spirit. Rather, they are disdained at scheming money lenders, ever eager to turn a profit from others' misfortune. Everyone else we questioned stated that the Gusha was alone. Only Guru claimed to have met both him and Yui girl. Yui guy. <laughs> Yui girl. I just realized I'm calling her Yui girl. I suppose it's just possible that Gosu made the inquiries by himself and only called upon Yui guy once they found a willing captain. But it's equally possible, if not more likely, that you're being deceived. Do not forget that there are parties present in Kagami with agendas which may run contrary to your own. The Viceroy was once a spy himself, as I recall. It should be surprised if he did not have countless agents here to employ, all eager to prove themselves to their new master. And what better way to do so than by delivering her the heads of the foreign insurgents? Fine, you, you may be right about him, but if Gunners work for the Empire, Who's to say he didn't try the same trick with Yui Gai and Gasai? I mean, if he did, he might know where they are. And if he succeeded, they might be in trouble. Anyways, if we hold up his end of if he holds up his end of the bargain, we'll have nothing to worry about, will we? But if he tries to betray us, I vote we take him prisoner and punch him until he tells us the truth. So if it's a trap. We'll spring it and deal with the consequences. Hmm, I like the way you think. Very well. We should prepare for the worst. 
Vitaro will remain here, and I shall follow the three of you in discreet distance. Once more, I caution to avoid physical altercation at all costs. Even should Imperial agents attempt to engage you, the Shikumi will not hesitate to clap you in irons and cut you down. If anything towards, uh, if anything onwards should happen, you are to return here at once. Is that clear? This is gonna go over horribly. This, this is, this is, this is lead balloon territory. <laughs> to review, Lise, Siegfried, and I will meet with Goshu as planned. Alpha and I will keep watch from a distance, ready to provide support in the li likely event that the go attempt to betray us to the Imperials or whoever else. Should this happen, you and Lee's will subdue him, and together we'll make our escape. As our actions will surely draw attention of the Sugugumi, we will invade them with Alphanod's assistance and return here with our prisoner. Does that meet with everyone's approval? Of course. These pr uh, precautions will be of naught if, Kudu if Gaido does not pay, uh, play us for a fool. Well, we shall see. To the bridge. Oh, it's so on. This is this is so a trap. This is like Trap City. Like this is land of the traps that we're about to walk into. Uh, hold on. Where's the quest at? So, the quest is there. I guess there's one spot we could have gone to be like one step closer, but at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. Like, we're already there. Like, we're already here. That was a two, three, four crystals, then that'd be a different story. Are we meeting under the bridge or over the bridge? So we're meeting on the bridge. Okay. <laughs> look at, look, look, it's a battle marker. Who would have thought? Our would-be allies nowhere to be seen. Make ready, Siegfried. Something smells fishy. He's late. For a very important date. I can't wait to hear his actual voice. Endless and most sincere apologies to you and yours, yes, yes. This way, this way, quickly now. This is gonna go over horrible. Enough. Where are you taking us? Where is the ship? The ship, the ship. I'm so very sorry to inform you, yes, yes. Long before was it pledged to another. To me, to me, these ones are for Doma. Ugh. 
I knew it couldn't be this simple. We all did. Nothing personal, yes, yes, just business. Oh, you're gonna learn about that, fish boy. Then business is about to take a turn for the worse. Let's find a way out of here. I'm about to fight in a city they say don't fight. As expected, the Tsukumi have caught our scent. Since we're fighting, uh, since we're fighting them is our is out of the question. We'll have to wind our way back to the Ruby Bazaar, invading their patrols as we go. If they find you, use the smoke bombs to make your escape. Use smoke bombs to evade patrols. Be warned that attracting the Tsukumi will result in failure. Can I just use the Ethernet? Duty actions are special actions that are available only during the course of specific quests or battles. Duty actions are used by left clicking the icon, but can be bound to other keys. Some duty actions can only be used a limited number of times. Deciding when or uh, when or when not to use them can mean the difference between victory or a quick trip back to the home point. Alright, so that's just to show you how the smoke bomb works. Oh god. to the Ruby Bazaar, right?
like some solid snake shit here. with you, bro. It's literally leading me right into a dude. you are leading me into a lot of dudes. I'm trying to, like, solid snake this shit right now. Enter sanctuary now. Stay hidden and quiet. Understood? Clear the road, clear the road. You there, Kojin. We seek four foreigners. One, a brutish woman carrying an unconscious Namazu. Have you seen them? Four foreigners, you say? Ah, yes! Very rude they were, making no apology as they barged past. They went that way, I think. Many thanks, good sir. With me, they cannot have gone far. <laughs> I'm glad he waved All at the is end. Well. The Sekisei Gumi will not return this way for some time, I should think. You are of the East Aldenard Trading Company, yes? Come with me. I know a safer way. All right. I like how she's just carrying the fish over his sho her shoulder. You are returned. And with guests, I see. Our meeting went about as well as expected. We've brought the Namazu who thought to betray us. When he wakes up, we'll see what he knows about Yugiri and Gazetsu. Well done, you. When I saw the Seki Segumi out in force, I did begin to worry, but I see my fears were misplaced. Actually, if it weren't for Soroban, we might not have gotten away. Why can't we play that race? I want to play a Ninja Turtle. It was my pleasure. I want to play a Ninja Turtle. Yet I must ask, Soroban. Why would you deceive the Sekisegumi to help us, foreigners of whom you know naught? 
Why out of the kindness of my heart? Is what I would like to say, but my motives are not so pure. Money. I chanced to witness your meeting with Hancock at the tavern and saw an opportunity. An opportunity? Like many, I came to Kugane as a trader to make my fortune. Kojin of the Red may serve the Empire as mercenaries, but Kojin of the Blue walk a different path. Regretfully, most here would rather not meet our gaze, much less do business. So I seek the custom of those less predisposed to dismiss us outright, namely the East Aldenard Trading Company. Quid pro quo, is it? Well, there is no denying that we owe you a debt. What say you, Hancock? Will you consider doing business with our entrepreneurial friend here? <laughs> Rest assured, Master Sodoban, that in matters of trade, the company does not discriminate. We would be honored to hear your proposal. I promise you will not regret this, good sir. I really want to play a turtle now. Ah, yes. You sought passage across the Ruby Sea, did you not? I have a ship you can use. You do? Well then, far be it from us to refuse. You have our deepest thanks. And you mine. Yay, everyone's happy. Oh, I can't wait to beat the hell out of this person. I'm still annoyed he's tried to deceive us, but at least we are prepared for it. Um, this is just another... Let's just grab the material. Na 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 na. Right then, good should be coming around soon. I think it's time we had a little chat, don't you? Why, yes. Rise and shine, little fishy. I know you can hear me. So stop pretending to be asleep or I'll give you another ride in the boot. Huh? No, 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 no more boot. All my secrets are yours are for the asking. Tell us what you know about Yuri and Gotsi. Every last detail. Yo, she's rolling 20s on Intimidate right now. She's just ready to throw down. And if I find out later that you lied to me... No, 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 no more lies. The clear, unvarnished truth. You have my word. Only the samurai did I meet. Yes, yes, only him. Yes, after ship. So I provided an introduction to the Garleans. You mean you lied to him into a trap as you did us. Because you are an Imperial spy. No, 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 I am no spy. I am just business. Fewer ships pass through Kanga these days, and we were having struggling to make ends meet. So when the Garleans offered a bounty to any Dormans found in Coogan. Oh, my mistake. You're not a spy, but a common cutthroat. Not that I'm surprised. You need a half a brain to be a spy. So what happened to Sugumi? Such a cruel and vicious tongue you have. We have not... Uh, we would not have gone quietly. No, no. Blades were drawn. Men were cut down, and Sugumi came. They took the samurai away. Hold on a moment. You mean to tell me Iju is arrested the other day by was Gutsumi? Oh, I 
Had I but known if he was in the custody of Sugumi, I would only see to it that he requests re uh, funds find their way to the rightful office hands and your friend will walk free. As it is in Olda, so it is in Kagumi. But given the circumstances, it would seem that I have no choice but to resort to morally questionable means. We'll make pregnancies of you. We'll make a pregnancy out of you yet, Master Alphanon. Oh God. All right. You are free to wait here while I speak with the Arelev and all officials. But if you would rather wait uh, for Gosei outside the barracks, you can go together. I would be, uh, I wouldn't put his past the Imperials to try something again. So my happy would be best if least Siegfried and I joined you. All right, but what about the Gerudu? I will keep an eye on him for the time being. We can release him after you return with Gosu. He will doubtless have some choice words to say to his little fellow. Sorbin, may happy it would be prudent to prepare your ship for our immediate departure? As you wish. Everything is in order, then let us be off. The Sugumi barracks are on the north. going Sugumi Barracks oh what do you know bam we're there I must ask you to wait here you may uh, you may rest assured that this will not take long Wow, a battle encounter. Who would have thought? Is it really going to be as simple as he says, do you think? No. He said it wouldn't take long, right? Because this feels like quite a bit long to me. Calm down, Lise. Everything is going to be alright. Much as I hate to admit it, I share Hong Kong's dim view of the government's officials and their supposed incorruptibility. From what I've gleared from the Far East, they're probably exchanging lengthy pleasantries. There seems to be a correct way to do everything here, bribery being no exception. I say we leave them to it. Right, Siegfried? Right, right. Everything's fine, probably. I mean, it couldn't be as bad as the least time we took stood around waiting for something to happen. I'm waiting for the armed guards to come out. I'm sure of it. He. Oh God. Please wait. I suppose we should follow her then. Victory to the samurai. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> How many is that now? Ten in a row. Gazetsu. Oh, this is a surprise. What in blue blazes are you three doing here? This mother f took the money and ran, didn't he? He wasn't in jail. I could ask you the same thing. We've been looking all over for you, and then I suddenly heard you screaming. Mm, it would seem there has been a misunderstanding. Allow me to explain. So, in summary, you started a brawl with some off-duty Imperial soldiers and were subsequently arrested by the Sekisugumi, whom you somehow befriended and convinced to set you free if you could defeat a given number of them in single combat. Ten bouts for my freedom, aye. It is but a bit you came too late to witness the last one. And with that, I'm free to go, yes? Our word once given may not be broken, but we pray you make every effort to avoid future altercations. Circumstances notwithstanding, my lord, we are honored and grateful to have witnessed firsthand the skill of a Dormer samurai. Nice. Ah, and we had just concluded negotiations. I gather my assistance was not required. One second, guys. All right, so he didn't take the money and run. He's still there. Thank God. Uh, I don't care about any of this stuff. Give me this. Do, 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 do. I must apologize that you endured such trials and tribulations in search of me. Uh, there's no need for that. You had no way of knowing it would be coming looking for you. You were after a ship to take the Dormo, yes? It just so happens we have found a willing captain. Truly, what fortune. We will tell you all the way to back to the company office. Alphanon and Tatara are waiting for you there. Alright. So now we go back to Ruby Bazaar. Boop! Yes, I wish to go into the offices. Please. Good Sutsuth. Thank the twelve you're unharmed. As you can see, Master Elfenod, I am very picture of health. You! Vile fiend, malevolent trickster. 
How kind the Konami are to grant me vengeance so soon. But first, I demand you return the coin you so villainously embezzled from me. You have every right to be angry, good sir. Gladly would I return uh, to you your coin had I not been forced to repay a certain gambling debts beforehand. Setting that matter aside for the moment, where is Lady Yurigur? Yurigi. <laughs> Was she not be traveling with you? For a time, I. But we parted ways some while ago. Better to improve our chances of finding Lord Hien. Lord Hien? Forgive me, I have yet to explain. Lord Hien is the heir to Dorma's throne and our master. His was a passionate voice for the cause of Dormian liberation. And we learned of the Emperor's death, if it only grew louder. So it seized upon the opportunity and rose to reclaim your freedom, only for your hopes to be dashed when Xenos led the army onto your lands. The Crown Prince was merciless foe against him in the might of the Zenith. The, the Twelfth. I keep saying the Zenith, like it's XII, -I, but it's XII is in Twelfth, uh, had no chance. Once Lord Hien understood this, he he bade Yuri Yurigi take to the sea with as many people of her people as possible. He, however, would stand and fight, and that might he have more of a chance to escape. I remained by his side as well, and together we carried on our doomed war. And then one day, in a fierce battle, we were separated and knew not what became of him. Only that he was beyond the Emperor's reach, and that I fi uh, and that to find him, I would need Yuri Guy's aid. The situation grows more perilous by the day. For a new victory, Yutsitsu is a black-hearted villainess who delights in the torment of our people. There is naught she would not do to further her pursuits of Lord Hain. Thank you. I believe this makes matters a good deal clearer. It should please you to let you learn. It should please you to learn that we're coming to the aid of Dormian Liberation Front, to resuming our efforts of overthrowing the Imperial oppressors. Then allow me to join you. My inquiries here bore no fruit, hence my desire to return Onthord. Once there, I can lead you to the headquarters of Yan Yanzi. Where I shall all be reunited with Yui Gu. Mayhap not all, Alphanaut's talents would seem better applied here in Kagumi. Working closely with Tataro and Hancock to feed us intelligence. There are Garlean Embassy just down the road, after all. While I appreciate your votes to Constance, I should be gladly accompanying you all. As a soldier in the field, so to speak. Come now, brother. A competent commander assigns his soldiers to the task best suited to them, as you of all people should know, and you, so very good at espionage and intrigue. For all we must serve, each of their own way. Very well. I would see my places here. Aw, Tataro tapped him on the back. Sorbin is waiting at the pier. Have fun, you lot. Now kill the fish. Make fish sticks. Uh, okay, so this dock. So we're going to go to the hoistery. The hoistery! I've been waiting for you, my friends. All preparations have been completed, and my ship awaits your passage. Shall we depart without any further delay? After you, my shell friend. If you insist. With me, everyone, the Ruby Sea awaits. 
No. I really want to play a turtle. That small move right there. It's all we moved right there. Small little move. I remember the water, how it turned crimson in the morning sun. Please don't tell me she dies. Because this is playing out like a, like, with it being her voice actor throughout the Shivering entire thing, being the narrator. Rubies, stretching from horizon to horizon. You could almost believe it went on forever. But beyond that red expanse lay a land in turmoil. On the shores of Opera. Our Doman brothers struggled in vain. So, what's what's funny about this whole situation, and and I, I know I'm, I'm probably looking too far into it, with her being voiced over right now, it really is like making me think that like. Like, this is her, like, like memoirs of, like, when she was dead, you know, like, and the crew is reading it. You know, like, the, the Scions are, you know, you are reading the book about what she went through and everything. Oh, I hope I'm wrong. But she finally just became herself. You know, she's no longer pretending to be her sister, so she's finally herself. Um, we are, we're at the Ruby Sea now, and it is 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. All right, so what I'm going to do is, I think this is another good place to stop the stream. Uh, I don't want to push and then get stuck in the middle of something. I think, I think this is a good chunk. Um, like a, ni a nice little cliffhanger to go off of. So we're going to, we're going to switch over to that, um... I think that's, that's that's good for now. It's just so we can relax, where I can relax. Let the computer rest and stuff like that. Um, other than that, guys, we're going to do the end of credits. I'm going to say thank you to a whole bunch of people. And then we're going to continue this tomorrow. Until then, guys, let's do the end of credits. Ooh. Ooh. It's right there. It's thank you. Mmm. Thank you. Any music is brought to you by Electromina. Make sure you link them up on Spotify or YouTube. Free to listen to all their music. They're badasses. Also, I want to say thank you to... It's Too Late Now, X Crumble A, for Bunkers, lol. Thank you guys so much for the host. It is truly appreciated. we also got thank yous going out to the I'm Live guys, as well as Ash is an Ashhole. Thank you guys so much for the retweets and the likes. And this is for all you guys this evening. Shouty, you're the best. You to you to best. And finally, a big shout out to the Bullet Virtuous Network. The Bullet Virtuous Network is channeled much like my own, where you go enjoy yourself and not have to worry about ass goblins ruining your fun because that's how they have fun. If those channels that you enjoy, make sure you look for the hashtag Bullet Virtuous on Twitter. Give some love. Tell my set you. Uh, but guys, if you're going to bed much like me, sleep well and sweet dreams. But if you're planning to stay up and play some more games, where's League of Legends, Dota, World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy, or any other games that are out there, have fun. At the end of the day, it's a game, and that's what it's all about, is having fun. And with that, I'm going to bring episode 674, FF14 Stormblood Full Story Playthrough, part 4, to a close. Thank you guys so much for spending some of your time here with me. Really hope to see you here tomorrow night. We'll go live with some more Final Fantasy. Until then, guys, have a great rest of your evening. Button! Yeah, button.